this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I have a quick tutorial to share with you. Um, I've had several people ask about dyeing my seam binding. So I'm going to share with you today how I decide, to, how I like to do mine. Um, the seam binding I use is from Hugsnug and um, I get it at online from SewTrue.com which is a sewing company that has all different kinds of sewing supplies. And it comes, I like to buy the white obviously so I can color my own. And it is uh, 100 yards on one roll, so you get a lot, and it's um, $9 and I think 75 cents, plus shipping. But if you sign up on their uh, newsletter, they do offer free shipping uh, a few times without a minimum order, so that's kind of cool. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to show you today, and I'm going to use the white seam binding, my craft mat. I use a little spray bottle of water, and then um, some of the whatever you want to use to color your seam binding. You can use Distress Stain from Tim Holtz. I've used that before. Um, Glimmer Mist, obviously. And I really, my favorite is uh, Lindy Stamp Gang because um, I really love the shimmer in that. You can also take a little mini mister or a little empty spray bottle and use your reinker for your uh, ink pads. This one in here is um, the Lemonade from Tim Holtz. The reinker, I put um, some drops and fill it up with water. And you can make a spray. It won't have any shimmer in it, and or unless you add the perfect pearls, and then it would have shimmer in it. And then this is the um, lavender, I think it is. It was their summer seasonal one. But again, these were the reinkers, and I just put a few drops of the ink in the mister, and then put, added water to it, and you can make your own mist if you don't have any of the other things. So that's what I'm going to show you to do. The option to wear gloves is there. Um, the first time I did my seam binding, I did bright red, and I did not use gloves. Um, so it was kind of scary. So I am going to choose to use gloves this, gloves this time. But if you don't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it just, you know, it's okay to get dirty once in a while. So what you're going to do, I like to do a whole bunch at a time. So um, for this, I'm just going to cut off a small piece here. So just go ahead and cut you off however much you want to color at one time. I like to just spend an afternoon and dye a bunch of seam binding and then I keep it all in a bag. So you're going to take your seam binding like this. And I... Just drop it in a bowl and go ahead and spritz it with water. The reason why you want to spritz it with water is because it helps the uh, fibers in the seam binding absorb the color. So go ahead and spray it with water. Um, the first one I'll show you is how I use the, uh, the just, just distress stains. So go ahead and this is Shabby Shutters, which is one of my favorite greens. And to use the, because they got this dabber on here, it's just as easy to just go ahead and line it up like this and just kind of go over your seam binding like this. And I'll wipe that off. And then you'll have a little excess here. Just wipe it up on your little mat. And this is the uh, Rangers Ink Essential Craft Mat here. So that's what it's going to look like. And then you're going to go ahead and just take your heat tool, which, or you can let it dry naturally, but I like to scrunch mine up so it gets crinkly. Then you're going to take your heat tool and go ahead and just dry it really quick. So there you have, that's the Shabby Shutters um, seam binding. And again, um, you can just scrunch it up while you're drying it and that'll make it the more, more crinkly. If you want a little darker color, you can go ahead and just, you know, ink it again or apply more ink, um, whatever, you know, however you want it, the depth of color that you want to use. So that's the using the uh, Distress Stain. And then if you're going to use a spray to color your seam binding, what I like to do is um, go ahead and again wipe my little bowl out so my colors don't mix. Um, 
You take your seam binding that you've already spritzed with a little bit of water. And then I like to do it in a bowl just because it's a spray and it does spray everywhere. But um, I love the Lindy's because number one, their sprayers don't clog. You just need a little bit. And then again, just kind of swirl it around there to get the color. Until you have it saturated as much as you want. And then you can go ahead and See again, I forgot my gloves. And then go ahead and do the same thing and just use your heat tool and dry your seam binding. So there you have it, everybody. That's how I color my seam binding. And again, I like to do a, you know, I do like four or five yards at a time. Um, that way I always have it handy. And um, that way I don't have to worry about stopping my project and going ahead and dyeing some seam binding. I just spend a day and, and pick all the colors that you want. So there's lots of fabulous stuff out there. So there you go, everybody. That's how I do my seam binding. Thanks for watching. Bye.